Hi guys, welcome back to another video. We are going to be doing a bit of a tractor tour today. So we're at a classic tractor today. I think everyone likes a bit of a classic tractor today. Um, yeah, cows are inside. Um, they're all inside, obviously. They're um, not far from carving. Outside is like a bowl. We've got plenty of straw, uh, silage, obviously, you just seen in the previous video. Um, won't be able to upload our videos because of the strikes, because apparently I've been banned on YouTube. So, um, yeah, sorry about not posting any videos. So, yeah, classic day. I'll see you all our tractors, hopefully. I'm going to try and get through them as quick as you can and not make it boring for you. So, stay tuned. So, this is one of our tractors, 675, uh, under the sheet. Massey Ferguson. Uh, quite a very tidy little tractor. When Dad was a kid, he brought it. Um, and, obviously, I know some of the family members that he used to work on are probably watching this. Uh, it's done. 3,000 hours is on there. Very little genuine tractor. Um, I had to put a new set of tiles on it because they were perished. Uh, all the tin looks very good on it. And obviously, this is all clean because uh, we went to the Arley show in it. So, yeah. So, this tractor here is a very special tractor to me. It's a 362 four wheel drive with a loader with a cab. And when I was 11 or 12, Dad brought me this. And we went over the road, we brought it. And I know some of the family members. Same form as the 675, and um, we brought it off, and they're very sad to see it go, but we've got it, and we're never going to sell it, and it's my tractor forever. And um, I know some family members will be watching it on here. And I love this tractor, you know, it was the bee's knees. Um, I added, that was my first tractor, my four drive, you know, all that. And obviously I moved up to the 7740 because obviously this tractor wasn't big enough for our kind of stuff, and haymaking, bailing, and all that stuff, you know that, guys. Um... So yeah, this is in retirement. This is obviously a classic now. Um, so yeah, we'll show you around it. So this is it here. The loader's gone a bit dull. Obviously it was on a dairy farm. Um, but yeah, there's yeah. Supplied by Shukas, Massey 362. Um, there you go, that. that's when last time I serviced it. 1,038 hours. And obviously the tires are a bit perished because they're original. Uh, on the back as well. And then in the cab, very tidy, genuine tractor. Needs a bit of a clean up. Um, where's the hours? Uh, let's show you. Jump in. Um, 1,073 hours. And then everyone will say, oh, then that's not right. Well, look at the clutch pedal. Basically brand new. Um, sorry, guys, I got a bit of a cold. Um, but the bonnet he's doing on it is kind of a bit rusty. Um, so, yeah. The, the loader's... Kind of spoils it a bit, but we just left it on because we don't use it much. That's my CB aerial. And then to the other side, we've got the 275. Um, I know uh, someone will probably be watching this. I don't know if they will be not. Um, we brought it off them. Just down the road again, local farm. Um, the original seat is not on it. We have got the original seat when we brought it. So yeah, it's a very nice clean tractor, actually. Um, where's the owl clock? There. I was doing 3,400 hours. Oh uh, yeah, there's your clutch pedal. Oh uh, yeah, so this one is very clean again. Um, I'm expecting these original tires, are they maybe? Good years, let me know in the comments. Got the slitter on the back. Um, yeah, very genuine. Little tractor, and there's all the other ones. Bit of a green leaf in here. Um, yeah, the grass cedar. Um, so yeah, I'm expecting they're the original tires. And then yeah, it's a very nice little tractor, 275. Just needs a bit, just going on the top of the bonnet a bit. But soon sort that out with the paint man. Uh, but really, it just wants leaving. Um, so yeah, now we're going to this uh, Ford LGT14D diesel. Now this tractor was my first ever tractor when I was four, I think. This is my first tractor I ever drove. Um, it's hydrostatic, so you've got low, high. Um, and it's you just forward and then backwards and then your handbrake, your brake, lawnmower. But obviously we took that off. There is a side panel in the shed. Um, but I love this tractor. When I was four, I loved it. I was dragging around the farm, basically using it as a quad. Um, and Dad thought we'll upgrade it a bit and we put some big beefy tires on it. So we did. And now stuck some LEDs on it. Big CB aerial. Um, again. So yeah, just wanted to show you that. So we've got to show you this one. This is my tractor. So. So he's in Fort in New Holland when they swapped over. Um, I have got the set of weights for it. Um, that was in part of the deal. Grass, man, sticker, 
reg hue uh light bars uh cb aerials gotta have the stickers in the door and then um yeah see but i had to put a seat cover on it because then um, we use it as a daily tractor with a straw chopper and that um yeah five thousand hours uh, can you maybe see it five thousand hours and then um clutch pedal good again um i do usually keep this tractor clean because it is my tractor and obviously we get in and out with our boots on uh, in the winter when we're feeding cows and that and so yeah crow holder cb aerial one two four not like the sle dual power i think it is and then you click it with a splitter forwards and backwards you revs up down two small valves um yeah i've got the air horns down there as well so yeah so i've got the dexter here and now obviously this is my mom and dad's wedding tractor and obviously it needs a bit of a clean because it's been a bit barn restored um and that black stuff it's all from the exhaust i think and um, so it does rub off look clean um greg did this up for us uh must be a bit of an oil leak there or something i don't know what's going on there maybe oh diesel tank maybe i don't know I got the exhaust for it, yeah, refurbished, new tyres, everything and all that. So I just wanted to show the Dexter. Weapon. Beast. So I thought, yeah, I'll show you this one. So you got the A360 BKTs around. Um, needs bonnet paint on it, but just want to keep it original. Um, it's done about nine or 10,000 hours. Yeah, it keeps dropping out of it. Four spool valves, gearbox. Um, with a dump trailer on at the moment, just looking a bit in luck and that. Um, so yeah, tidy tractor, and then we've got the old 7.7. We have got the side panel, side panel for it, if anyone asks. It's in the cab, it fell off. Um, again, this needs restoring, it's just like a bit rough. Um, like if I do look round of it, it's got the wrong rim on it, that's the diff. I don't know which one's wrong, but one of the rims we've got in the shed that matches them. There is the back window, it's in the shed. This is one of the roughest tractors we've got, actually. McConnell's hedge cutter. Um, so, yeah, there's the panel up in there. Yeah, this is one of the roughest tractors. I really want to do this one up, but... It's just, when do you have time? So, yeah. Two beastly weapons again. So, this is the different 77. It's the two-wheel drive one, and it's in a lot genuine, original condition. Uh, the ball must have knocked the light or something. Um... This did have a loader on it. If anyone does realise it, it's probably... It was in their Brightwell's machinery sale about three years ago, two years ago, maybe. I don't know. No, two or three years ago. Um, but, yeah, it's done about 6,000 hours. It's a very tidy little genuine tractor, actually. Um, 5,000... I don't know where it says there. 5,500. There you go. Clutch pedal. Original. Top link. Yeah, this is one of the nice tractors. CB Aerial, CB. Um, very nice little tractor, actually. Got all, still got all the glass in it. Do a lot of the road runs on this because it's quite quick. Um, so, yeah. She's a weapon. I don't know about you guys, but I think this video is just dragging on a little bit. Um, it's about nine minutes long. I don't know, ten minutes long. Um, so, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Videos every Sunday, midday. And that is for me. And I will see you later. There's part two on next Sunday. Right. Bye for now.